Hey there everybody, welcome back to the sixth excitingly pointless side story mission of Trapped. So this time around we have yet another incredibly odd situation that Princess Alora finds herself in. A mysterious stranger happens into the mansion and notices yet again that she is half naked and thinks that maybe this magical special original drink will warm her up. And you know, that's probably the first nice thing somebody has done to us for the entire game, so... You know, let's go ahead and have a little drinky-poo. <laughs> oh dear. Who would have thought it was a trap? How ironic that the... Trapper has become the... Trappy? Either way, uh, this was all a clever setup between Mertz and Orfson to drug our poor half-naked princess with some kind of concoction and then rob her, even though as to where she would actually keep valuables on herself would be kind of a mystery, but for some reason off-screen somehow she is still awake and what we actually learn from Orson in a second is she apparently threw up the poison which makes Mertz do a little happy dance so we have no other choice than to fight them now or get a big hug from Orson and apparently this is just how all of their robberies turn out either way now, in case you were wondering what happens if we happen to not accept the drink, the exact same thing happens, except we end up looking a little bit smarter in that we didn't step into a very obvious trap. Now, March does try her best here to sell the idea that this drink is actually good, but she can't go through with the ruse, and we still pretty much end up in the exact same place. Kind of showing off one of the, I guess, faults of the overall game story in that your choices 90% of the time in the game do not have any overall effect. Sometimes you'll be able to skip a fight, but outside of the ending, there aren't really that many choices overall in the game. So without further ado, I think it is now time to actually fight the terrifying mother and son duo of Mertz and Orfson. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up their... I thought I was going to pull up their description. But I think instead we're just going to lure them. Because I have actually a fairly interesting trap set up waiting for them. And in case I don't pull up the description, uh, yet, yet again, they are just a mother and son that go around robbing people by drugging them. But the plan here was to actually show off the great potential that the snowball has. Now, its main ability is not so much the damage, but the fact that it can actually grab multiple people, or in the case of the game, only two people at once, and can take them to a centralized location. So what we're going to do here is I'm hoping to at least snatch one of them up in the hanging chains and then capture both of them in the snowball and send them flying with the bus saw. The hanging chains is not a bad floor trap, it's just normally only good for one person, so it's kind of iffy. But rather oddly, I was actually able to get both of them. Making sure that they're now both snatched up, I wait for them to stand back up, and buzzsaw them. But that's not the end, because waiting for them is a lava shower. Nice five hit combo, nice use of multiple things in the room. The weird thing is, though, that Mer Mertz and Orson actually have quite a bit of health, so even though that was a pretty damaging combo, they're still kicking. But I think we can finish them off. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd say the one downside to the snowball is that it just does not do any damage. It does maybe a third of what the uh, normal balls can do. But that is the end of their thievery days. No more poisoned, helpless, robbed individuals. So I guess we didn't do too bad today, even though we still kind of murdered some people, but at least it was, uh, it was at least light-hearted murdering. Still not very much in the way of money or experience, but that's okay. We at least learned a valuable life lesson of not accepting drinks from strangers, I guess. Yep, see you next time.